सो हेलो गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स सो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ एन इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स सपोज वी आर गिवन दिस डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ ओके वी हैव टू राइट इट्स इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स इज डिनोटेड बाय ए ओके इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स इज नथिंग बट अ मैट्रिक्स व्हिच टेल्स अस द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम वेरियस नोड पॉइंट्स ओके so we will uh, now i will tell you how to write a incidence matrix in an incidence matrix first we draw a matrix on the row sides these are the rows okay these will represent the rows of the uh, matrix i will write the node points here 1 2 3 4 the node points will be written along the rows okay along the columns you will write the branches 1 2 3 4 5 6 these branches the ones are circled okay i will write in the nodes here the branches here so uh, this is done so that it is easy to create the matrix okay okay so this is the structure of incidence matrix now i have drawn the st structure how to write the incidence matrix now uh, first we will consider branch 1 this branch okay branch 1 this is the branch 1 okay in this branch current is flowing from node 4 to node 1 okay it is starting so the node from which it is flowing will have a value of 1 okay the node to which the current is flowing will have a value of minus 1 okay and all other nodes will have a value of 0 because they don't have any involvement with branch 1 okay i will i will repeat Consi let us consider first branch okay in first branch the current is flowing from node 4 to node 1 therefore we give a value of 1 to this element okay 1 to this element and minus 1 to this element because it is flowing 1 and 0 to these elements because they don't have any involvement now i'll consider next branch it will become more clear as i'll consider more and more branches in in second branches the current is flowing from 1 node 1 to node 2 from node 1 therefore plus 1 and two node two therefore minus one and three or four nodes don't have any involvement so their values will be zero okay similarly branch 3 for branch 3 we have for branch 3 the current is flowing from 2 to 4 first node doesn't ha have any involvement therefore zero the second node the current is flowing from second node therefore one and the third node doesn't have any involvement with this branch okay so zero for fourth it is flowing in the fourth node therefore minus 1 okay now consider branch 4 in branch 4 this is branch 4 okay the current is flowing from node 3 to node 4 okay from node 3 to node 4 where it is flowing there is minus 1 from where it is starting it is plus 1 and where it is ending it is minus and all other points are zero theek okay? hai similarly consider branch 5 it is flowing from point 1 to point 3 okay from 1 to point 3 it is ending at point 3 and starting at point 1 okay so therefore plus 1 at point 1 and minus 1 all other are zero similarly for sixth it is flowing from node 2 to node 3 from node 2 to node 3 and all other are zero okay so this is the incidence matrix of this directed graph ये जो हमारा सॉरी दिस दिस मैट्रिक्स इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स है द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी द सम ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन एनी कॉलम इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके इफ माइनस वन इज देयर देन वन इज देयर वन इज देयर माइनस वन वन माइनस वन सो सम ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन एनी कॉलम इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स ओके सो नाउ सपोज वी आर गिवन दिस इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स ओके now uh, as soon as uh, you see the question that we are given the incidence matrix you will know notice the property that i just told you every uh, the sum of all the elements in any column must be equal to 0 but here in this column the sum of elements is 1 here also it is 1 here also it is 1 okay here also it is 1 therefore it is not 0 therefore we have to make it 0 to make it a proper incidence matrix okay so uh, let's suppose uh, we put an element here minus 1 okay in this row okay in this row also minus 1 the sum is becoming zero so there is no problem okay minus 1 minus 
similarly here zero because the sum is already zero therefore we don't need to do anything to make it zero therefore we just place it, place it zero 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 now this is our complete incidence matrix why we why we added this row we added this row to make every column the sum of all the elements in any column equal to zero therefore we did this now we have to draw the directed graph of this incidence matrix uh, the what type of question will be asked in your exam uh, you will be given this type of matrix which is incomplete first you have to make it a complete incidence matrix by el adding elements such that all the elements or, or sum of all the entries in any column is equal to zero then you will be asked to make its directed graph okay for directed graph first we uh, what we did here we we wrote the node points here and branches here therefore we do that again therefore i have named uh, this first node second node third node fourth node fifth node and so on eight branches okay so this is our complete incidence matrix now we have to draw a network from this graph first what will we do we will put five arbitrary points in the plane okay the points can be in any any orientation therefore we assume them to be in their, this orientation let's suppose this is one this is two this is point three this is point four this is point five node 5 we have to draw five nodes we have drawn five nodes now for first branch where is first branch it is between first and fifth node first and fifth node the current is flowing from first to fifth okay so we draw a line from first node to fifth node i'll just draw it okay and the current is from starting from one and ending at five therefore the direction will be this okay now for second branch it is starting from node 2 and ending at node 5 okay so again i'll draw a branch from second to 5 and it is flowing in this direction okay now for third branch third branch third branch is starting from node 3 to node 5 okay node 3 to node 5 and the current is flowing from third branch to fifth branch okay so this way okay now for fourth branch fourth branch it is starting from node 4 to node 5 now again i'll draw a branch here okay and the direction of current is from fourth to fifth okay now uh, uh, i have forgot to name the branches you must name the branches simultaneously to avoid confusion at the very last okay this is fourth branch now for fifth branch it is from node 1 to node 2 okay here like this okay and it is flowing from node 1 to node 2 therefore direction of current will be this and this is the fifth branch okay now for sixth branch it is from node 2 to node 3 okay like this okay and the current is and the current is from second to third okay this very way and this is sixth branch okay now for seventh branch we have it from node third to node fourth okay so i'll just draw it like this from node three sixth uh, we are talking about seventh branch sorry third to fourth okay so i'll just draw it okay now it is flowing from three to four three to four therefore direction of current will be like this you can also draw the branch like this using overlapping but i, I have drawn it like this to avoid confusion okay since you are beginners now branch 8 is flowing from node 1 to node 3 between 1 and 3 where is node 3 3 3 this is the node 3 okay now don't we have any connection between first and fourth okay it is flowing from first to third like this from first to third this is the eighth branch okay so this is the complete directed graph of this circuit okay of this incidence matrix which was given to us okay i hope you all understood what i taught in this lecture uh, what is the what is the main thing what is the main thing to remember in this lecture how to take directions the direction is take positive is from where the current is starting and negative one is from where the current is ending from from where the current is ending is negative one and from where it is starting is plus plus one also the properties property of the incidence matrix the 
sum of all the elements in any column is zero thank you if you like the video uh, you can watch you should continue to watch the third part and you should also watch the previous part thank you